Hello and welcome, this is Rob Chisholm and I'm going to show you how to format uh, SD card and rename it. This is for the purpose of the SD card working within the configuration of OS 13. In my case, on a, I'm going to call it an iPad uh, basic because it's not pro, is it? Because at the end of the day, you can't rename your SD card or format it in the operating system that I can see in OS 13. You will need to use a laptop or computer etc. Uh, which might be if you just got yourself um, an iPad or something uh, you can't you can't change the name so it'd be a bit awkward to every file every folder is going to be called no name. So to get around that um, in the picture you can see a use some white tape written on which disk it is and they'll all stay in there they won't move so I'll just have disk one two and three sort of thing uh, or you could be very sneaky where you buy them if you bought them in a shop rather than going to uh, online support your local shop you could maybe ask if you could just format it so in this instance we're just going to look and concentrate now on renaming so uh, this is really old hard drive SD card. It's eight gig, so I'm going to name it eight gigabytes, eight eight GB. Uh, I'm also going to erase, so anything on there is going to go. There's your drop down menu. So remember, it can stay on any of them. I'm just going with um, Mac OS because I'm on an iPad. Uh, maybe. It works a bit quicker, maybe it doesn't. You'd have to do the test yourself. But I'm going to erase that now. It's going to pop, pop up as a Mac OS journal drive. Once it's done, we'll pop it in the iPad and do some dragging and dropping of files. Just to show you the speed on a very old um, 8 gig. So that says it's been done. Let's go and check. Here we are. It's uh, OS extended journal to Mac, so that's good. It's the 8 gig Mac on the iPad. And the SD card 2 is in there. That's 256, not the 8 gig. And so I'm just going to select um, one file like that. No, I'm not even going to select it. What am I doing? It's working on a PC and things. Uh, I think it's copy-paste, but for the Mac, you obviously can support drag and drop which is big part of having a tablet okay so I don't know what was that um, a pause about four seconds to be able to do that so in the 8 gig the one we just formatted and there it is okay so it's 8 gig and I'm going to take the same file drag it over and we'll go 1 2 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No point in counting any longer. Although we didn't do all three. Come on. Tell you what, I'll pause it. We have the eight gigabyte old card transferred. Okay, it just takes a little while for it to wake up and be read. So if you have any issues basically with your SD card um, if you can read at 100 and write at 70 on the package from there and upwards it seems to work fine for, my, for me. If there's any questions do ask. Uh, hopefully we've covered everything. You can name your disk if you've got use of a desktop computer. You cannot, which we might as well just go and show you just in case I didn't mention it uh, there we are I can move that up to there that's useful because um, I'm you know I'm gonna that's where it will be next time now what else could I do with that uh, could I rename it no can I oh can't select it I could change that I could rename that I can do anything you know I could delete it which is probably what I'd do uh, but there's, I can't, I can't actually change the name of the eight gig. If you've got any other questions, just post them on the channel, please. Many thanks. Harry Gatto Gazimas.